in some earlier tips, you heard about the concept of transitions, which we call the silver spoon and the verbal knife. The silver spoon is an idea that's attractive to people. It, it pulls people toward it. The verbal knife is the concept that people want to avoid or push away from. Well, there's an excellent way you can set those two types of statements up by using a phrase that's common in the sales world. It's the if-then statement. If-then tells people that if they take one action, they'll get a specific result. Or, if they avoid taking an action, they'll miss out on an opportunity. For instance, when I'm talking about storytelling, one of the most important parts of a story is the change. What is the new life of the character after they've taken some specific actions? When trying to convince my audience to use this change in their stories, I could say, if you use this part of the story and you show the new life of the character, your audiences will buy into your message and they're much more likely to buy the product or service that you're trying to sell them. That would be the if then to sell the silver spoon. I can also use it to sell the verbal knife concept. If you avoid including the change in your story, your audience will walk away entertained, but they won't buy into your message. They won't have a compelling reason to take the next step and buy your product or service. Do you see how that works? It attracts people to a result or it repels them or pushes them away from a result they don't want. Now you can also use both of these together. I could set up the change concept by saying, if you avoid using the change, people will be entertained by your story, but they won't do anything with it. However, if you employ the change and show the new life of your character, it will appeal to your audience. They'll be much more emotionally involved and they'll want to buy the product or service you're offering. Use the if-then statement. It can have a big impact on whether or not people take action on your message. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.